Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. A great big God bless you. This is Chandra Davis with your five minute words of encouragement. Just getting on here really quickly to encourage you on how far God wanted me to encourage you on today. We've been talking about keys to war, uh, war keys to wage an effective warfare. Jesus has given us the keys to the kingdom. Today's war key is that location matters. Amen. It's so important that we understand the best place to be is in the will of God. God um, is him that places us in the body where it pleases him. It's him that plants us where he wants to be. He told the children of Israel, I mean, not children of Israel, but he told the people, the first people to go ahead and spread among the earth, but instead they tried to build the Tower of Babel and he confounded their language. He babbled their language basically. And so that they could be exactly where he wanted them to be. They could do exactly what he wanted them to do. Amen. And so um, in Jeremiah 42, you know, the Bible says uh, that judgment ended up hitting the land with the children of Israel because of all the idols and all the different things. And so the land was wasted. It was just a little remnant left. And they didn't want to see any more war. They didn't want to see any more famine. So they wanted to go over to Egypt. But it came to them like, you know what? Let's go ahead and repent. They went ahead and they were, you know, like repenting. They went to Jeremiah. They said, can you inquire of the Lord for us? And whatever you say, we'll do it. So Jeremiah inquired of the Lord for them. And Jeremiah said, God said this. He said, stay in the land. And I'll take care of you. I'll protect you. He said, you don't have to fear the king of Babylon. I'll show mercy on you and I'll make him show mercy on you. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll build you back up, all this stuff. And so, but they said, nope, we won't do it. We're going to go to Egypt because we, we're tired of seeing war. We're tired of seeing famine. And God said, if you don't listen, he said, then you think you're going to go to Egypt where there's no war, but the war is going to follow you. I'm going to send this word after you. He said, you think you're going to go to Egypt where there's no famine? He said, the famine is going to follow you. I'm going to send it after you. We have to understand that we can't outrun the judgment of God. Location matters, right? Uh, David said, Lord, even though you slay me, yet will I trust you. We have to understand when the judgment fire of God hits, it hits. We can't outrun it. Um, you know, good fathers, they discipline their children so that the children have longevity, right? God is a good father. And so when judgment hits, it's because, you know, he said, I won't be mocked. You will reap what you sow. Blood but believers and non but but believers. And he starts with believers. He's like, I start in the house. I start in my sanctuary, right? So no one's going to get away with doing anything. It's not pleasing to God. God's run. God's word runs swiftly. It does exactly what he called it to do. It never returns void. And so we have to understand that we can't outrun judgment. So be where you're supposed to be. You like it just because you're having hard times, even though he slay you yet trust in him. God is merciful. Um, it, it doesn't, you know, always last forever. You can't outrun tough times. And so that's what the spirit of the Lord was saying to me today. That's today's key war keys to work key to war today is that location matters. Be where God has told you to be. It doesn't matter if there's war, if there's famine, if there's desolation, if whatever it is, the hard situation, God will protect you. God will keep you. God will cause uh, mercy to be shown to you. But if you try to run and go be somewhere else, um, it, it's unfortunate, but the judgment of God will follow you. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Um, and this is the key to war. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to obey God and be where he called us to be. Every like The, the spirit of the Lord led you Jesus into a wilderness. Sometimes we're led into wilderness seasons because God knows what's in us and he has to get out of us what's in us because he knows that he's not taking anything that's not of him. And if we have something in us that's not of him, he's not receiving, he's not receiving us. And so he wants it out of us. So these trials, they actually work a far greater way to glory for us in the long run when we stick and stay wherever God has placed us to be. Don't think that God will not lead you into the wilderness when the Spirit of God led Jesus into a wilderness season. It's only a season. It won't last. God will protect you. God will keep you. God will show you mercy. However, if you try to be in the location that you want to be, then any any other judgment will follow you and God, his protection is not there. He didn't promise to protect you where you wanted to be. He promised to protect you where he told you to be listen it's easier said than done how do you stay in a place where god wants you to be when it's hard times the children of israel were looking at war they were looking at famine they were looking at disease desolation all the people that were there before were either carried away captive or they died like they were looking at hard times how like they're, in their minds, they're probably like, it doesn't make any sense to stay. It's nothing here. Everything here is dead, right? Why stay here? It's easier said than done, you know, until you're in that situation. Um, and, and unfortunately, so how do you do it? How do you stay in the location that God wants you to stay even when it's hard times? It all starts with Jesus. It starts with accepting him as your Lord and your Savior, believing that he died on the cross and was raised again the third day, and now it's at the right hand of God. Then you have to surrender your life to him. When you surrender your life to God, he gives you his spirit. If you don't surrender your life to him, he becomes your savior, but not your Lord. 
you have your surrender is necessary even when you're surrendering what location he physical location he wants you to be it's so important that we understand that he doesn't force us to do anything he lets us choose whatever we want but he said i won't be mocked and this is why judgment hits us and judgment hits the land because he's like you can choose what you want but you're going to deal with the consequence or reward of your actions right so listen we invite you to accept jesus christ your lord and your savior now Amen. Uh, maybe many of you have done that before, but you got to the left or the right. God said he's married to the backslider. He's faithful and he's just. If you confess your sins, he's for, he'll forgive you. Not only forgive you, but cleanse you of all unrighteousness. So we invite you to do that now. Um, I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders at Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet on Zoom. We would love to pray with you, walk with you, but please understand this. We serve a living God. He's LJ, the only God that is living. He can speak for himself. If you make a conscious decision to step toward him, he will step towards you. Listen, y'all, I just got on here really quickly this morning to encourage you, to remind you that location matters be where god wants you to be um you can't outrun tough times if you're having tough times where you're at maybe you feel like oh it's too traumatizing here too much too many memories too much stuff here if god wants you to be there then his protection his mercy is there but if you decide you want to go somewhere else um wherever you want to be but god is not telling you to go you take yourself into a danger zone. Uh, when judgment is due to hit a people, it will hit you wherever you go. God won't be mocked. The word runs swiftly. It does exactly what he called it to do, and it won't return void. He told the children of Israel in Jeremiah 42, he said, listen, if you run over to Egypt because you don't want to see any more war and famine, I'm telling you that the sword's going to come after you, and so is the famine. And so now what happened is they took their judgment to another place to spread it to those people as well. And it's also, when you think about it, it's kind of selfish. Sometimes we just got to stick and stay, kneel and pray, trust God. He's a good, good father every good father disciplines especially when it, when the children is unruly and many uh, unbelievers have been very very unruly <laughs> with god and discipline is good it, it it ensures our longevity listen everybody enjoy the rest of your day and make it a great one on purpose